We begin with what several local mayors are calling a power grab from the state. One saying it's, quote, appalling. Good evening to you. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. We're talking about a state bill that would move all local elections from May to November. Then at your side's Brett Hall looks into why there are such strong feelings about this date change. I think it's safe to say as fact that the relationship between state leaders and local cities, it's sour right now. Today, a bill passed out of a Senate committee that would move local elections from May until November, a bill that many mayors say they were never aware of. It may just sound like a time change, but in Hampton Roads alone, mayors in cities like Chesapeake, Williamsburg, Newport News, Norfolk, Franklin, and Hampton all say the push to move their local elections is much more than that. I think there's a sense of unfairness that's um, being heavy handed by the state or by uh, the General Assembly because it can. Hampton Mayor Donnie Tuck says he agrees with neighboring mayors like Kenny Alexander and Rick West when they say this move seems to stem from partisan politics. We, for the most part, will nationalize our election. We'll be up there with the congressional elections, and uh, every two years from that, we'll be up against the president and maybe a senatorial election. And, um, I think what our, our issues and our campaigns can get lost. All mayors run as independents in Virginia, but it is Democratic State Senator Lionel Spruill of Chesapeake who wants the elections moved. Supporters say May elections are a form of voter suppression, as turnout can be less than 10 percent at times. That's disgraceful. They should be ashamed. Jean Hanwich is the founder of Change the Date Virginia. She says there should be nothing partisan about it. Because these May elections. They're a low turnout for a reason because people don't associate May with elections. She also points out it'll be more cost effective to only have one election day to pay for. This is about the people, not the politicians. What's really interesting about this bill is it passed out of the committee with Republican and Democrat votes, which means on the Senate floor it has a better chance of passing. The mayors would rather see the actual citizens of the city consulted before any of that happens. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.